everyone! Today on All That Chic, I'll be showing you a DIY wall art. It's such an easy and creative piece of art that completes your room into looking like a crazy expensive interior designer came into your room and gave you this masterpiece. So here's what you'll need. You're going to need a base for the letters and according to the number of letters you have in your name, get the same amount of plaques, so I have 8. I got these from Michaels at a clearance park so they were a little rusty so I painted them white. So of course the next thing you need is the letters because what's the DIY wall art if you're not going to spell out your name with the plaques. So I have 7 wooden lowercase letters and 1 uppercase letter. Then for the ribbons, I have two different colors of light purple and white because I couldn't decide between the two. I love them both and they match my room. You want to make sure they're a good quality because they'll be going over your head and you don't want to fall when you're sleeping. So next we have the stickers and little embellishments that we can add onto the letters for each individual letter. And this could be an optional step if you don't want to have anything on them that you don't have to. But I like the way it just adds some character to each letter and it goes really well with the room again with the colors. Then your typical tools, your hot glue gun, scissors and paint brushes, and a garbage bag and some paper to protect the area you're working around with. The letters are currently wooden, so you really need to paint them. So I'm taking purple box glove from CIL, and this is the color of the walls of my room. And so I'm doing this because you don't want to have different shades of purple. You want the same one so you can complement everything in your room. To hang the letters, you need one one-fourth nails. Now that we have all the tools and supplies, let's get started! We're going to need a clean working area and cover it with a garbage bag to protect it from paint. Take some paper out to place the letters on there to dry. You're going to take your paint and start putting your first coat on your letters. Depending on the number of letters you have in your name, this could become a very short process all the way to a long process. For me having 8 letters in my name, putting the first coat, it took around 8-10 to 10 minutes. you'll still see imperfections. That's alright because you'll be doing a second coat to get into the details. Now they are all completely dry and ready to be put on the box. Then take your hot glue gun and squeeze out the glue onto the back of the letter, press down onto the plaque carefully, making sure that you don't have any glue seeping out, and then continue to press hard on it to stay. Continue the same method with the rest of the letters. Let them cool down a bit because the hot glue might make the letter still move in. You don't want that. You need to take out your ribbon to make these plaques hangable. When deciding on how much ribbon you want to use for every plaque, it's really up to you. For me, I just played around with the ribbons at first, seeing what I liked more. I came to a decision of around 8 inches, so I took it from one corner to the other corner plaque. When placing the ribbon onto the plaque, you don't want to make it flat. You want to use the method of adding two dots on both ends of the ribbon. Pressing it down exactly in half with your finger or scissors gives this whole ribbon a better dimension for when you hang it on the nail. Now that the ribbon is ready, you want to flip over your plaque and find the appropriate area where you want to hang your ribbon. Look it back and front to see where you like it best. Make sure you glue any possible areas as the plaque is heavy and the ribbon needs to carry a lot of weight. 
Do the same process for the rest of the ribbons and all your plaques will be ready to hang. A very important tip after you finish your first plaque is to always compare with the other plaque because you want to make sure that the ribbon is equal distance on the plaque and off the plaque because when you hang it from the nail, you want the whole name to be equally leveled and not to have one plaque higher than the other. Now that we're done with the ribbons, we can start embellishing and decorating the plaques the way you want. All the flowers found their little homes onto their letters. Because the plaques will be hanged onto a nail, the nail will still be visible and so you want to cover them up. So I'm taking four pieces of ribbon around 8 inches in white and purple to create little bows. How do we make these cute bows? What you have to do is take the ribbon and fold it in half. You want to see an equal distance between. Place a little bit of glue, fold it, and press on it. Then you want to put another dot of glue and fold. Make sure you hold on to it tightly because it's hot and the ribbon is used to being flat. It's going to take some time, around, around 10 seconds, of folding it to make sure it stays in that shape. To create a cute center of the bow, what you have to do is take a small piece of ribbon and fold down the side. Cut any excess trimming. Then place a small dot of glue onto the bow and wrap it all the way around. Push down the bow to create a more circular effect. Then glue away to finish the look. And there you have it, a cute bow to put on top of the nail. So we're done and it's time to hang them up. Find the area where you want to hang them and then place dots on where you want the nails to go. Make sure there are equal distances between them. Obviously it's not me hammering the nails because my dad is interested in such tools. However, you do get the gist of it. Now that all the nails are in place, we can start hanging the letters. done but we still have the bows so what I recommend is to place the bows on top as an idea of how the bows are gonna look then one by one start placing the glue on the bottom of the bow make sure you don't glue the wall but you're gluing the nails press the bow down making sure it's firmly placed on it so it doesn't wobble And we're done! It's such an easy and creative DIY that makes a huge statement in your room. It is tray chic. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want, subscribe for more videos.